What's up everyone, Hobbit here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And here's John, the newly married man, or, well, engaged, I suppose. Last time he proposed to Abigail. And it really showed that it was one of the most important and happy moments of his life. Rufus, you're good, you're okay. Good boy. Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plow. He became the great... I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no-good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Charles, this sounds urgent and unpleasant. Hey, John. Abigail? Sadie? Charles? I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks as fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Let's go kill this son of a bitch, then. Come on. Let's get to Strawberry before he dries out. Which one of Micah's boys is? Cleet. Which one was oh. Cleet? The big one or the little one? One of those the two. One with the the new ones face. that Arthur saw. Is they both had rat faces. I hated those two. The little bastard with the rat face then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Well, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north. Canada, find a woman, start a family if I can. I see how that life. Well, I'd like to try it. Ooh, hey, John, you've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. And we're gonna do it. Oh, we're gonna do it. No, oh, man. I'm looking forward to this. Really hoping we'll survive. Well, John will, but those two. Otherwise, I'm really looking forward to okay. killing Micah. Strawberry, this is it. We leave our horses by the bridge, then we find it. Okay, John, Charles, you take the other side of the river. I'll stay on this one. All right. If we meet in the middle. We would have covered most of the town. 
If he's here, we'll get him. Okay, let's go. There. Clean! Hey, Clean! Been a while. Shit. Stop that man! He's wanted for hey, murder! Him off. Hey, stop! 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 <laughs> Can't escape us, Clean! Ain't no point in trying. Come here, friend. I don't I notice you got past. Look at this. You want to run a little faster, man? Good job, Sadie. Hello, Clay. Remember us? Get away from me. Joe, you gonna take a turn? Hey, 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 we're all buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Now, where's Micah? Micah? I ain't seen him. Tell me! Stop, 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 stop! stop. Oh, 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 oh. Anything short of killing will do. No, 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 no. We'll talk. Give it to him. Hey, 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 hey. Talk, man. Micah! Where? Wait, 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 wait. Where's Micah? I don't know. Wait for what? I ain't seen him. We fell out. Uh, you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. What? Good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. I don't know nothing. Move! Everyone loves a hanging. Come on. Don't dig your heels in. Hold you on. heard the lady. Get up there. Stop. Keep kid. moving. I, I swear. Move. Stop. No, you stay away. No, Come on. No, no, no. Come here, you ah. bastard. Move it. Come on. Move. Ah. I want you stood right. Deal. Ah. All right. String the no good murdering bastard up. Try this again. Uh, Where's Mike? Uh, no, 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 no. Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Uh, Talk, or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 no. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. He, he's up in the mountains. There you go. He's up in Mount Hagen. We got a whole gang now. Bad man. Doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please. I'm, I'm one of the good guys. You have never been one of the good guys. You deserve this hanging. Every little bit. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm doing it. Thank you. Come on, a little rat said Mount Hagen. We're good there. It's a long ride. Let's finish this. Yes, let's. I am so ready to finish this. I am just so ready to finish things with my car. they might be using for a camp. Okay, what's going on? I fall again? Oh, sniper. Shit. Don't be careful. 
I think I saw him on the map. Okay, I want to turn on the sights on this rifle. Here we go. I can take him. There he is. Bam. Uh, what? What? Didn't he fall? Lose you too. Get behind there. Here's a breath. Move it. Get down. Okay, the sights on this time after loading. Nope go. Let's try this again. Can we hit him from here? Slowly, carefully. Careful. A little further. A little more. Too far. Okay, okay, okay. Bam. There we go. Now again. Okay, yeah. Forgot about that. Bam. That didn't seem to work. Let's see. I bet we can do this. Oh, he hit me. Yeah, I gotta be more careful with this. Get some beans and... Hmm, I don't have anything for this, huh? Anything that uh, restores everything? Guess not. Hmm, that sucks. So what do? Finally, thank you. Can I? Oh, okay. Take the shot now. Good. 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 I'm gonna shoot you off that rock. Yes. I do wonder though, why could I not do that a little bit before, from the previous rock? I mean, it seems like the rifle would hit that far. I don't know. Hey, you're okay. Okay. I will be. Go on. Go on now. Move fast. They'll come down that hill and kill us all. You know, it's possible. Come You'll be fine, on. though. I don't gotta finish this. Hey, they know we're coming now. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't move fast. Okay. Come on, John. Shit. Yeah, let's go. A little faster, John. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, come on. I've got bail. Where is he? You pathetic bastards. Man, Micah has a lot of people. I wonder how? What did he do to gain such a following? He's such an asshole! And look, he's got people flying too, magic users. Okay. Come on. We can't get trapped down here. 
No, no, we're not gonna get trapped. I'm just looking for some medicine, if they have any. I know, I know, I know. Just let me get some medical cure or whatever, whatever it's called. Nope, just two dollars. Fine, fine, fine. Coming. Exactly more men at every step. How does he get all of these men? He can pay him, sure. How does he get all of that money? I think we may have to admit that he's been much more successful with his approach than we were with Dutch. Oh man. Come on now. Oh no. Shit. Don't ah. Oh. You all right? Just fine. You don't look too fine. Come on. You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. You should sit down. Uh, I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. Uh, I'll be up look there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? But I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. That was Joe! We gotta be close! I'm here to finish things! I'm surprised by this sort of thing every time. What the hell? They've got quite the base here, haven't they? Winding paths, lots of snow, lots of people, lots of soldiers. I am amazed at this. You know, given what Mike is like. Okay, I need some chewing tobacco. Damn, this is... <laughs> May have been the wrong moment for, the, for chewing tobacco. And definitely the wrong moment for being left without medicine. someone over there? No, I guess not. Maybe they'll come out later. I thought there was someone. All right. Do you guys have any medicine around here?
I'm just turning on Deadeye on every enemy, just because I have that little health. Medicine, guys? No. Oh, good. Healthcare. Perfect. And some biscuits. And some freaking chewing tobacco. Go. Also, maybe some more medicine here. Yeah. Health cure, yes, please. Yes. be a duel, isn't it? Hey there. Did you miss me? Not much. Couldn't sleep. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. But I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. Okay, not a duel then. I got more men coming, John! John, come on. You should run away! Just I look forward please. to meeting them! I'll make you rich! Real rich! He's fast, holy. Dear God. What's with this fall, John? Second time in a row. And this again? John, do you wanna... Thanks. Jesus, he's quick, he's accurate. Man, he can shoot. I would love to find another place. I'll make you rich. Real rich. I got all the money from Blackwater. What are you doing, John? What are you doing? Most of it anyway. Thanks. You want to be quick? I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, oh, hell yeah! Sadie! Yes! Hell fire! It's just like old times! Come on! You turn around and start walking! You got me! Just like old times. Hmm? Sadie, here's the question. All He's an art now. Why don't you shoot him? In the head. Right now. Hello, Dutch son. is here. I thought. Been quite a while. You bastard. <laughs> Okay, so this is infinitely worse now. Now, John. Now. What were you saying? We're still Charles. What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. 
Join us, John. Join us. Wait, what? You want me to join you at this point? Let her go. Now I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. You betrayed me. I say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You, you just cared for yourself. I'd say it was the other way around. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. Like a shut up. How could there be any trust in this relationship? Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Well, I really want to kill you. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Oh yeah, isn't it? This is a new century. Dutch. 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 We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch. Killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. Wow, and Dutch has nothing to say. Hmm. Oh. Oh. I did. I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. <laughs> You shot me pretty good. What? 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 How many shots to the head does it take to kill Micah? Come on. This is stupid. Yeah, we got 16 gunshot wounds to the head on this guy. They didn't hit the brain or any other vital organs. Thank you. You okay? Fine. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Ugh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. Well, Mike is dead, though. That's a thing. Look, one thing I gotta say, if you want to take this money, you better chase and kill Dutch right now. He is upset right now, He's he might be thinking he doesn't want the money, but he'll come back. He's sure to. Everybody lived! Yes! I was so hoping everybody would, and honestly I was sure that somebody would die because, you know, the drama, the tension, to raise the stakes. It's over, Abigail. Well... It's all over. This was a ride. This was a real ride. Oh man, it's over now. Wow, it's been, what, a couple of months by now? And I think this is like the 67th episode. And the game's characters, like everybody, really, became a part of my life by now. 
Money for I mean, I thought about them when I wasn't playing. Which is saying something for me. Of the people who made this game must have done something right. Holy crap. Oh, and here's the wedding. Ah. Oh, John still with a beard. Everybody there. Sadie. Charles. Uncle. And Jack, of course. And this was such a real roller coaster of emotions. I mean, it started out, right, with, like, Arthur having a fun ride with revolvers and, like, horses and drunk parties and Valentine, where we beat people up and everybody is Lenny and we have fun and they teach us to wash our dirty face and, and then it ended up in Arthur dying from tuberculosis which was caused by him beating a man to death for a few dollars looking into his own eyes reevaluating everything he ever done he had ever thought learning to cope trying to set at least a couple things right before he dies and I felt all of that as I was playing through this is an amazing feeling. This is honestly like one of the games that made me feel the most. And that's amazing, that's magical, I think. This game is often praised for being realistic, and primarily it's usually about, you know, graphics. Horses' balls, they usually mention the horses' balls and everything, and the horses pooping and stuff. Uh, but really, it looked li a lot like real life in many other respects as well. There's real lives of people. There's love, there's betrayal, there's death, definitely sudden losses, sudden tragic losses, disappointment. I mean, as I was playing through, I often talked about things uh, like it was a video game that it is. But I did feel as I was playing through that the characters were... I don't know how to phrase this exactly. Real, maybe not real exactly, but somehow alive at least. And... Uh, I remember I started with the first train job where we got the dynamite, or where was that dynamite? Where we no, uh, we used the dynamite for that. Uh, where we robbed Levitic's Cornwall, that first train job. I remember starting out not being able to tell one person from another they were just dudes, and every one of them looked and sounded exactly the same to me. Ooh, they found Micah. Look at that. The uh, Pinkertons, I guess. They're investigating. How did they even get there? It's like a very remote position, isn't it? Huh, who told them? Anyway, I started out not being able to tell one person from another. And then I ended up recognizing most everybody's voice and loving everybody in their own way. Even Micah, even... Well, I mean, with him it was more of a I love to hate him situation. But still, still. He felt alive, I actually freaking hated that guy. <laughs> and the whole love to hate him thing, that's actually a thing I can say about a few people in this game. They can be annoying like real people can, like, uh, like say, Dutch. I started off trusting him because everybody else does, and well, Arthur definitely does, the character I'm playing as and I'm supposed to uh, identify with. And then, I guess I got to know Dutch better as me and not Arthur. And, well, he's not always great. He's one last job that we heard for the whole game. Beginning to end. Blackwater to end, even. Have some faith, Arthur. I find your lack of faith disturbing, Arthur. We just need one last score, Arthur. And then Tahiti. He's supposed to be the good leader who thinks about everybody. And in the end, he was so easily manipulated by Micah, of all people. Ah, who else? Bill? Who was way too loyal at the end. I mean, think for your own self once in your life, Bill. Don't delegate all the thinking to the boss. 
That never ends well. Or Karen with a booze by the end of the game. Or Uncle. Why did we keep him in the gang at all? From the very beginning, he... Well, he didn't do anything good. Like, the only thing I can remember good about him was... Well, two things, I guess. Well, first thing, that uh, he was trying to stay positive all the time, which is a good thing. And the second was that he told John to build a house. That's it. That's <laughs> all the good that Uncle did in the whole game. Like... I might even understand him as a character, but I don't understand why the gang kept him. And there were some other stories, like the Reverend. The Reverend who started out as a drunk, who was never sober, I don't think, in the beginning. Always drinking or sleeping, and then when things got tough, he found his backbone. He stopped drinking, he started trying to help people, at least. So the characters... I mean, just about every single one of them was amazing. I mean, of course, they did some... They made some questionable decisions, like... I'm still surprised that they, they didn't kill Milton till the very end. They left him to Arthur. Oh, is that Mary Beth? Is she writing her stories? Oh, that's awesome. See the fire in your eyes. Um, or, or, or why didn't Sadie shoot Micah in the back of the head in the very end? There were some questionable decisions throughout the whole game. Those two were just the ones I remember right now. I did have some difficulties as well. Like, for the life of me, I could not figure out how to ride horses properly, just about till the very end, and even then... I still had some little bit of trouble with it. It's also a bit annoying that uh, Arthur and John managed to fall off their horses even in cinematic camera. Like, you ride with somebody, uh, you give the reins to the main character that you're playing as, and they're supposed to be able to drive, to ride the horse. And then they just ride into a fence full-on, or like a cart or something, or another rider. That really breaks immersion, to be honest, and the cinematic camera is there to facilitate immersion. But these things are kind of minor and even entertaining, so that's fine. Or like, another thing is, why do you have to take my weapons away when I get off the horse? I mean, realism is one thing, but surely, surely you can imagine Arthur thinking a bit, a bit ahead about probably having to shoot somebody else in the next hour or so, or when he next gets off the horse and, you know, having his chosen guns on his back, or getting off his horse and taking them with him automatically or something. Or like the sniper's nest near the end of the game in the mountains, why couldn't I shoot him? Why could I shoot him from one point, but not like a few steps before that? Rifles shouldn't work that way? I don't think. Oh, the Pinkertons are investigating, so they're following up. Um, what else? Picking things up was weird for me. On one hand, I did get used to it being slow in the end, but on the other, it got a little more annoying the further it went. Like, gathering things basically was a very weird minigame, something. Like, you had to take everything, every little thing, and watch the animation every time. Thank God it's not a looter shooter, right? Um, never got into hunting or fishing in the game. But then again, I rarely do, to be honest. One thing I can say for this one is I wanted to get into hunting sometimes. Fishing I never got from the beginning, but hunting... I did want to hunt a little more, to learn at least to hunt. To say I did. That's a compliment to the game as, as well, because... I never want to do these things. Maybe I will in the future, off-camera. Visually, visually the game is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not really usually one to notice technical details too much, but my god! The way it's all drawn and rendered is beautiful. The mountains, the rivers, the foggy forests, the waterfalls, the bridges... Uh, just riding around aimlessly is very meditative here. You're sort of in a bit of a trance, you listen to the horse's hooves, 
you just ride, you just enjoy the views, which just about never disappoints. The only thing that breaks me out of that trance is having to watch the horse's stamina. But, you know, that's such a minor thing. And if you don't want to... Oh, is that Tilly? Oh, man, that's Tilly. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, if you don't want to break out of that trance, you just ride a little slower. That is completely fine. There's all sorts of random things that I love, too. You could save some people and then they thank you. Uh, they would recognize you on the streets of the nearest town and they'd let you get something from the store for free. And there's random snakes in the grass that you have to watch out for and they might bite and you have to take the medicine or something. And there was the goddamn goat in Butcher's Creek. Oh, that goddamn goat. I think three times it headbutted me. Maybe two. I think three. So, all in all, all in all, I absolutely loved Red Dead Redemption 2. I was extremely immersed, despite the few flaws that I found in it. And that's, uh, well, yeah, that's what I really love the most about video games, getting immersed in another world. I guess there's a bit of escapism in there. And there was so much detail in the houses, in the terrain, in the way people behaved, and they had their routines and secrets, there were secret businesses, people had uh, secret agendas that they didn't shove in your face, you actually had to go and ex uh, explore to figure any of that out. The animals in the wild, their behavior, the random people in the wild during doing their thing, like you would ride in the forest. Oh, Pearson! He's still a cook. Awesome. Um, you would ride in the forest and see a random um, bounty hunter bring in, bring in a bounty and the bounty complaining like you got the wrong guy, it's really my twin brother or something. Or you would have the lawman just uh, bringing someone somewhere in a cage and sometimes the gang trying to free that person from the cage and you could absolutely ride on by. It's not a quest, it's not anything. Or you could stop to help anytime. And that's even just random encounters. You could make your own thing. I, I didn't do that much because I was into the story too much, but you could absolutely just do your own thing. You could kidnap anyone from anywhere, uh, go ahead and kill them somewhere, tie them to the train tracks or something. Like, if you're into that kind of thing, this game is a huge sandbox with lots of moving pieces, lots of opportunities to do whatever you want. It's amazing in that regard as well. I'm Basically, I'm very glad that I played it on the channel, on YouTube. I, uh, I'm i pretty sure that I would have missed some of the things at least, maybe a lot of the things, if I wasn't uh, commenting on them. Because, you know, when you comment, you miss something that might be on the surface when you're watching, but also you notice a lot of other things that you might miss uh, if you're just playing and not commenting because you sort of pay attention to different things uh, when you're just playing versus when you're playing and commenting at the same time, right? So, basically what I'm trying to say, I guess, is the world of the game is amazing, even if it, uh, the different biomes look a little weird so close to each other. The story is amazing, well-written. The characters are great, they're alive. They are again well written and deep. It's a real roller coaster of emotions story wise. And uh, there are some minor hiccups, technical hiccups, and you know, control wise. But I am firmly in the camp that says that this game is absolutely amazing. Okay, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave you now, stop rambling, leave you now with the credits, the end credits. Um, if there's something else that comes up, I might come back, but otherwise, I thank you very much for being with me on this journey. And if you're still here, by the way, thank you doubly. <laughs> um, 
I would love to hear from you. I probably nobody's actually here at this point, but still, if you are, I would love to hear from you what you thought of the game. Um, if your experience with it was different from mine, if your opinion of it is the same as mine or different, maybe you had the same problems, maybe you didn't, maybe you had some problems that I didn't have, or you noticed some amazing things that I didn't, pour it all in the comments. I would love to hear from you. But as I said, now I'm gonna leave you and I again thank you so much for watching this and being here with me bye now
Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we'd better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money I... Uh... I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own and raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. Are you being sarcastic, John Marston? Me? <laughs> Never. Good. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. It's home. <laughs> <laughs>